വിവാഹ ശുശ്രൂഷ നിർവഹിക്കുന്നത് കർത്താവിൽ പ്രസിദ്ധനായിരിക്കുന്ന ഡോക്ടർ ജോൺസൺ സെ ഫിലിപ്പ് ആണ് ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്കായി കർത്തദാസിനെ ക്ഷണിക്കുന്നത് it's a great privilege for me to stand in front of you to conduct this wedding of praise and vidya praise comes from my family when i say my family uh my own siblings are scattered all over india i get very rare opportunities to meet them but my wife has seven other siblings and uh, many of us live in a cluster where we can reach each other fast praise comes from that cluster and therefore place praise belongs to my family and today we are taking lydia into our family lydia i want to remind you ours is a special extended family we don't have daughters in law sons in law we have only daughters and sons and we don't have father in laws and mother in laws in this family only fathers and mothers you will see that very very shortly so we are going to take her into our unique family but before that we have to listen to another 20 minutes of preaching of the word of god that's my right and privilege but almost 40 years ago 39 to be precise i sat like this and i know how impatient i was to get married so i will spare you those 20 minutes i will not preach to you but there is one verse that i want to read to you and that is proverbs 5:23 proverbs 5:23 it says with all diligence guard your heart for the origin of life is from there sagale jagradeyodum kooda ninde hrudayam kaathu kolluga jeevante udbhavam adil ninnallo aagunnu praise the last upapan that is no that is no bible message related to wedding did you forget the reference no no not at all not at all <clears throat> both of you are going to live in the 21st century and in 21st century the most important thing a couple has to remember is to guard their minds the world has now developed technologies and techniques to directly enter into your heart and ask you to violate god's ways that's only thing instead of 20 minutes that's only thing that i want to tell you today 21 am nootandu shastra saangedhika vidyagalu adu pole thanne manushya manasugale swadhinikkan vendiyulla tantrangal manushyan valare adhigam parishkarichu parishkarichu eduthadinte kaaranam undu ഇരുപത്തിയൊന്നാം നൂറ്റാണ്ടിൽ ജീവിക്കാൻ പോകുന്ന ദമ്പതികൾ ഏറ്റവും അധികം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടത് അവരുടെ മനസ്സ് സകല ജാഗ്രതയോടും കൂടെ കാത്തുകൊടുക്കുക അതാണ് പ്രൈസ് ആൻഡ് ലിഡിയായോടുള്ള എൻ്റെ മെസ്സേജ് ഇവിടെയിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരോടും ഇന്ന് എൻ്റെ മെസ്സേജ് അതാണ് ഐ വിൽ നോട്ട് റീച്ച് മോർ ദൻ ദിസ് ഓക്കെ ഐ നോ ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു ഗെറ്റ് മാരി ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ നോട്ട് ഹോൾഡ് ഓൺ we are gathered here for the wedding of pre sam emmanuel house maveli nagar who is a member of kalamashiri assembly and who is now in fellowship with khadki assembly son of my brother sam daniel and my sister elsa sam the bride is lydia thompson who is in fellowship with the Ebenezer Assembly in Mullen, Mumbai. She is daughter of our beloved brother Thompson B. Thomas. It's a privileged brother and sister Sheba Thompson. Both the bride as well as the groom are born again, baptized, and in good standing with their respective assemblies. 
I thank God for this privilege to get them wedded with each other. But before that, don't stand up and don't jump up. It's not time yet. A little joke is necessary in this kind of a tense situation, particularly when we are all following COVID protocol. <coughs> that mask, it has dried my throat. So, my very beloved brother, Dr. Jiri George, is here to help me. It has been a privilege to minister for the Lord with Dr. James Thomas and Dr. Jerry. I won't go into details. All people who conduct wedding need to know if there is any objection to the wedding. It's a spiritual requirement. It's a legal requirement. The wedding of our children has been in planning now for months and if anybody had any objection, they had more than enough time to declare such things. However, nobody declared such things and joyfully such a big audience has gathered here, which means there is absolutely no objection. And therefore, before I proceed, I want to remind you one thing. We live in a generation where people love to attack others. Please, you kept your mouth closed all these months. And here, in the name of God, I want to remind you to keep your mouth shut throughout your life. Lest God punish you. Strong words? Yes, strong words. And those strong words are needed in our generation. Since there is no objection, and also since such a, an august company of people have made it clear that this has to take place, I am happy to proceed. Okay? Lydia, would you please stand up and come to my right? There is a space problem. Somehow we will manage. Praise, you come to my left. A little here, yeah. Uh, yes. Good. Since there is an endorsement from everyone, It's clear that God also is endorsing it. So before we go further, I would request the choir to sing Inni Mangalam Shobhikyuan Karuna Chayika. Uttama Striyaya Bharati Tiranya Brahmin Vrityavaran Chaita Velay Uttama Striyaya Bharati Tiranya Brahmin Vrityavaran Chaita Velay Tuna Tudana Polari Ibide Tipu River Karan Nalla Mana Valentani Kulla Mana Vati Uma Nalla Mana Valentani Kulla Mana Vati Uma Kalyamodam 
Kalam so pick you up Karuna Siga in Mukagi Bulla Deva me Karuna Siga in Mukagi Bulla Deva me Karuna Siga in Mukagi Bulla Deva me Thank God I understand it's a special day for you. It's your birthday also. 24 years? 20. <laughs> good son. A very good son to a, an uncle full of humor. See, he is God's chosen vessel for you. Praise and Lydia have informed their willingness to marry each other to us family members and also to church members. However, they need to make a public declaration. Public declaration in front of this congregation and also in front of family, God, and also me who is here to conduct this wedding. So, I am going to ask something to you, Praise. Ask something to you, Lydia. And you have to give an answer which is so loud and clear that there would be no doubt in the minds of anyone. Dear Praise, are you ready to accept Lydia Thompson as your only wife? Are you willing to live with her as the head of the family in a manner fitting for a child of God? If yes, you need to respond to my question. Are you willing and ready? Yes, sir. Is this my con? Ah, are you ready? We yes. did not hear, man. Yes, I am. Ah, yes. He's nervous. Don't worry. After getting married, you will get more nervous. <laughs> and you be confident, lady. You are not going to get nervous. Dear Lydia, are you ready to accept Praise Sam as your only husband and head of the family? Are you willing to live with him in a manner fitting for a child of God? If yes, you need to respond to my question. Are you willing and ready? Yes, I do. That's a confident answer. God bless you abundantly, Praise. God bless you abundantly, Lydia. Since Praise and Lydia have publicly declared their desire and willingness to get married, now, I will not touch it. Eh? This is uh, COVID protocol. Now both of you shall extend your hands and yes, shake hands. Don't leave it till I ask you to leave. And I am not going to touch or hold your hand because of COVID protocols. Okay? Keep on holding. It's a very special moment in your life. Very special day in your life. Enjoy every moment. And now you are going to make a covenant with each other. Praise. As head of the family, you will be the first to make the covenant. I praise Sam. I praise Sam. From now onward. From now onwards. Voluntarily and without any external pressure. Voluntarily and without any external pressure. Accept you, Lydia Thompson. Accept you, Lydia Thompson. As my only wife. My, as my only wife. During comforts. During comforts. In affluence. Uh, uh, during comforts and in trials. And in trials. During health. During health. And in sickness. And in sickness. In affluence. In affluence. And in times of wants. And in times of wants. Favorable and unfavorable circumstances. Favorable and unfavorable circumstances. I promise to. I promise to. Love you and cherish you. Love you and cherish you. I promise to fulfill all the obligations. I promise to fulfill all the obligations. Of a Christian husband. Of a Christian husband. As the leader of the family. As the leader of the family. I also promise to fulfill the covenant. I also promise to fulfill the covenant. Till death parts us. Till death parts us. Or till our Lord removes us. Or till our Lord removes us. From the earth. 
from the earth to his presence to his presence i make this covenant i make this covenant in the presence of in the presence of triune god triune god the church the church and my family and my family may the good lord help me may the good lord help me to be faithful in these matters to be faithful in these matters thank you god bless you praise be here I Lydia Thompson Hi Lydia Thompson from now onward from now onward voluntarily voluntarily and without any external compulsion and without any external compulsion accept you accept you praise Sam praise Sam as my only husband as my only husband and head of the family and head of the family during comforts during comforts and in trials and in trials during health during health and during sickness and during sickness in affluence in affluence and in times of wants and times of wants in favorable in favorable and unfavorable circumstances and unfavorable circumstances of life of life i promise to love you i promise to love you cherish you cherish you and obey you and obey you i promise to fulfill I promise to fulfill all the obligations all the obligations of a christian life christian wife of a christian wife I also promise I also promise to fulfill to fulfill this covenant this covenant till death parts us till death parts us or or till our lord removes us till our lord removes us from the earth from the earth to his presence to his presence I made this covenant. I made this covenant in the presence of in the presence of Triune God. Triune God. The church. The church. And my family members. And my family members. May the good Lord. May the good Lord help me to be faithful in these matters. Help me to be faithful in these matters. God bless you, Lydia, and may He give a blessed life to both of you. Koyre, Ipol, Sorpurami. കരാറിനെന്നുള്ള പാട്ട് പാടുന്നതാണ് we need to commit them into god's hands in prayer i request all those who can stand to please stand up for a dedicatory prayer namakku kunningale deiva karangale varamelpikkam ennete nikkan sadikkunna ellavare ennete nilkanam nu abhyarthikkunnu let's dedicate into them into God's hands our merciful heavenly father we thank you and praise you that you gave this special day to us that we could witness the wedding of two of our beloved children to start a new life we commit praise and lydia into your hands that you might bless them abundantly that 
you might help them to explore the long journey known as marriage and come out successful and come out as a couple who glorify your name in their lives we also pray that you may help all the family members friends and also the extended family to extend all their help cooperation and prayer to them today and also in the coming days we also thank you that today is a special day for praise thank you father that you give us long age so that we might be witnesses in this world bless praise in addition to their special blessing for their wedding we thank you and praise you we adore you we commit these things into your hands and ask all these things in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ Amen. please be seated everyone please be seated except praise and lead children it's not finished yet i am going to read a few verses from the word of god these verses are actually read basically to remind you of your obligations and also so that you can take a second covenant the first one you made to each other and uh, in front of god and in the second one you are also going to make a covenant that's a very special covenant i'll read from ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 onwards i'll shorten it for your sake wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the lord for the husband is the head of the wife even as christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body therefore as the church is subject unto christ so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything husbands love your wives even as christ also loved the church and gave himself for it let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as he himself as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband that's a principle and now there is a very important covenant we often don't recognize it as a covenant but it is a covenant i'm going to read to you from matthew's gospel chapter 19 and verse three onwards once i complete reading this portion i'll read only selected portions both of you have to loudly say amen and please remember very 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 important commitment matthew's gospel chapter 19 verse 3 says some pharisees came to him to test him they asked is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason he replied have you not heard that at the beginning of the creation creation the creator made them male and female and he said for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh here is the conclusion i'll repeat the conclusion and then only you have to say amen so they are no longer two but one flesh therefore what god has joined together let no one separate now i'm going to repeat that verse at the close of that verse both of you should loudly say amen no mic everybody should be able to hear it so they are no longer two but one flesh therefore what god has joined together let no one separate amen, amen. today the almighty and merciful god has joined both of you as husband and wife May the good Lord help you to obey his word and lead a highly exemplary life and may he also give you long age health strength multiple generations and may you create an impact for the Lord God bless both of you my children God bless you Now the children are going to sign the register you can leave the hand 
for Thai beer. Okay, signature. They are wedded because of God's blessing and in front of God. In Cochin Travancore area, a special law for marriage is there. Christians in the 21st century should be aware of that. Indian Christian Marriage Act does not apply in this area. In Cochin Travancore area, all weddings are conducted by ministers of church according to Special Marriage Act of 1954 passed by the Parliament of India. I stand here as an authorized minister of gospel or minister of church to conduct. There is a sound problem. There is a, and uh, it is in that authority that I conducted the wedding today and it is in that authority that I am declaring them as wedded in front of the law also. Once again, let me repeat you, repeat. Special Marriage Act of 1954, which is applicable, which, which is the only law applicable for Christians in this area. From now onwards, they are authorized and empowered to live as a couple. I declare this in the name of the Triune God to the family, friends, church, and I also declare it by the authority vested by the government of India in me via this uh, Special Marriage Act because I am a minister of the gospel. I will now pass on the certificate to them. Once again, stand up, Lydia, there to my right, raise here, to my left. Yes, so that all your friends can see you live. Not only friends, many of your cousins, friends, church members. It's my privilege as a minister of gospel to present this wedding certificate to praise and Lydia. Who will keep it? <laughs> you keep it. Turn to the people now. It's my privilege as a minister of gospel to present Mr. Praise Sam and Lydia Praise to you. Now we can clap. I also am privileged to present both of them to you as praises Upapan. Actually, I am his Iliapan. Uh, but he calls me Upapan, fine, okay? And now Lydia's Upapan. So as a family member also, I am happy to present them. And also as an evangelist who worships in the same assembly to which praise originally belongs, I am happy to declare these things. May God's name be glorified and children, may the Lord bless both of you. Now you can sit down comfortably. <laughs>